Hey teacher, today we are taking a look at technical analysis for Phantom or FTM. I'll cover wave analysis with LA wave theory and provide targets and invalidation levels for the presented count. Let's get going. On higher time frame we can see that we are again starting the correction from around these all time highs around 27th or 28th of October 2021. Since then we have some kind of three way structure here coming down. RSI is giving some indication that this move is not over yet um, and we still could have some move or room to move up um, and still um, hit this trend line and go down again but this is to come uh, this is on daily time frame so there is loads of space here um, and this could even drag out to the end of the year now on four hours let's check out that RSI as well we have had this support line that we broke here uh, 23rd of May um, and since then we are crashing down a bit. Now let's take a look at the higher time frame corrections and the possibilities there. So this is starting again from these highs here of 27th October 2021 having A, B and C. Um, as this is an ABC structure, we would be expecting five waves here on the last leg. I've labeled this as a one, two. Uh, this would only be coming third here that we completed. Looking for the fourth here and then coming down to five. Now it is possible that we ended the fourth here, but we're going to be looking into the local structure in a bit. Before that, let's take a look at other possibility here, saying that we have an A, B and C. Uh, instead of the being higher degree, we have a A, B, C here into the higher degree um, minor W here. Then we have X and now looking for three way structure coming down. Now we have this um, targets here, basically we wouldn't be Want, wanting to see anything below the 1.618 here but as it is looking kind of grim um, on the price action and if it does go below the 1.618 then I'm definitely going to be preferring the other other scenario of having this as flat um, instead of this WXY. Um, according to this we are actually done here and uh, we would have a ABC here into W, then really small X, and then another uh, ABC here to Y wave, completing it. We had pretty much the, hit the target of 1.618, which is again almost the invalidation point for the WXY count on my books, but the same area had the 1.382 extension for the WXY here. Um, not really anything regarding the lower time frame. Uh, targets but again we definitely can make the case that we have had a 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 here into this uh, last leg of C. Um, we did also have a divergence between this alleged third and fifth here as you can see um, so there is definitely some indication something in it here. Is it this leg or is it this leg or is it just these areas here? I'm not sure yet but we'll see in time. Now let's take a look at this closer time frame. So this is pretty much what I've got. Currently this did look like a five wave structure here into A wave, three waves back into B wave, and then another set of five waves up to the C wave. This came down to a nice resistance area that we had visited before where we had support twice or I don't know how many weeks we have here this is first second third fourth fifth and then possibly back test one so and this would be a second test to that resistance line now I was looking at phantom um, during this time and I took a short but it was late so my position size is really small however I'm still playing I did still play this and it, is, it was one of those that I mentioned earlier that I had good gains on and I'm still on that short. Now we are getting kind of close um, 
possibly finishing something here according to Bitcoin at least so you definitely need to be careful I have taken my profits already uh, let's just see on the one hour time frame we we have some possibilities here for an upwards movement if we want to track this but it is not really really clear on RSI either we have not got into the extremely oversold we did basically tag the 30 uh, around the 30 area which is oversold and we have multiple um, signals here colliding uh, stochastic RSI normal RSI and uh, bullish demand uh, average um, saying that we have definitely some bullish bullishness around here now so we definitely can be looking for a small up before down but looking at the smaller time frame let's take a look we did not have any bullish divergence that's why I did not take any short or long positions here um, I definitely want to see on 15 minutes um, a divergence um, most likely more likely in the 30 minute as well so it does um, lie on this previous support area where we had multiple touches um, as a resistance and then back testing and support uh, and then now again support but we'll see what happens um, yeah this was pretty good short but we'll see if this goes through now again if this indeed is a three-way structure that is finished um, we would be looking at some some possibilities with this one saying that this could be the wave 4 and now we would be looking for wave 5 in that case we would need to look into this structure a bit more um, this definitely looks like five waves here but is this wave 2 here and is this another 1, 2 here 3, 4 and we would be looking for lower prices something um, again this would be 1, 2, 3 four five possibly something like this and uh, after that point again we would be expecting a higher higher price for third way or three way bucks most likely if it comes down to these areas I would be expecting either resistance right here where we have it currently or up here where we've had this nice area as well so basically that's all I wanted to share on Phantom today. If you have another coin you would like me to check, check out or an update for them, let me know as well on the comments. But again, I thank you for watching and hopefully see you on the next video as well. Bye bye.